In this lesson, we'll discuss how you can tell when an integral converges or diverges. Let's begin with a quick discussion on what makes an integral improper, because that's an ongoing theme in all three questions. Take for example the integral x to the power of 2 dx between 2 and infinity. This integral is improper because one of our bounds is infinity. Take a look. Another scenario when an integral is improper is the following. Take the function x to the power of 2 over x minus 3 between 0 and 5 with respect to x. The denominator here cannot be 0, and the only time it will be 0 is when x is equal to 3. x being equal to 3 is between the two bounds, 0 and 5. So we say that this integral is improper because the integrand, this function, is discontinuous at x is equal to 3. In question 1 they ask us, does this improper integral converge or diverge? Those are two other words that we need to know about. Let's say you're looking for the area of a definite integral, which happens to be improper. You can't evaluate the integral if one of your bounds is infinity. Instead, you have to choose an arbitrary letter that represents infinity, and then take the limit at the appropriate time when that letter approaches infinity. If you end up with a value at the end, a finite value, then we say that the limit exists and it converges. On the other hand, if the limit does not exist and it goes to infinity or negative infinity, then we say that the integral diverges and therefore does not exist. Here's what I mean. So instead of this infinity, I'm going to switch it with b. So I have the integral between 1 and b, 1 over x dx. The integral of 1 over x is ln absolute of x. And now I will evaluate this at the upper and lower bound. Starting with b, I'll take the limit as b approaches infinity for ln b, and then subtract ln absolute of 1, and this is equal to 0. But our main focus is this first term. If we make b very large in this expression, the output is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Because we never end up getting a finite value, and that this becomes infinity, this improper integral diverges and does not exist. Let me show you another example. Does this integral converge or diverge? Once again, we have our lower bound containing negative infinity. I'm going to switch that with an arbitrary letter, and I can choose any letter I like. I'm going to choose a. Finding the integral of e to the power of x is easy. It's e to the power of x. And now I'll evaluate this at 0 and at a. If I evaluate it at 0, I end up with 1. And if I evaluate it at a, I need to take the limit as a approaches negative infinity. And if I put a very small number into a, I'll end up with e to the power of a very small number, very small negative number, which will eventually lead to 0. So the limit of this is equal to 0, a finite value. 1 minus 0 is 1. Therefore, this integral converges. Now in case you don't believe me, open up your calculator, put e to the power of a very small negative number, and you end up with 0. Finally, in question 3, they want us to find the area under the curve for the function y is equal to 1 over x to the power of 2 from x is equal to 2 to infinity. This is an improper integral because our upper bound is infinity. And the equation is x to the power of 2 with respect to x. Taking the integral of this requires a little bit of work. First I'll change this to x to the power of negative 2. Same thing as this, but mathematically it looks different. Plus 1. Take the sum of negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. This gives us negative 1 over x because this is equal to negative 1, and we can reciprocate that, giving us the final expression. This is our integral. I'll switch this with an arbitrary letter. Let's call it b. We have negative 1 over x, evaluated at b and 2. Starting with b, we have negative 1 over b. Now the limit as b approaches infinity minus negative 1 over 2, this part becomes positive half. 
And placing infinity into here, negative 1 over infinity, negative 1 over a very large number, think of a trillion, will give you 0. So 0 plus half the area underneath this curve between 2 and infinity is half. And there you have it. That is how to tell when an integral converges or diverges.